Hello you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and today I will be showing you guys a week in my workouts. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys may or may not know that I am obsessed with working out. I have been weightlifting for I want to say six months i'm not too sure Little disclaimer i did not create this regimen my boyfriend did he knows what i like and what i do not like he knows my body goals and my fitness goals so this regimen is five days a week and i rest two days my schedule goes from monday to friday usually and i rest saturday sunday out of those five days three of them are for lower body and two of them are for upper body and my goals consist of muscle growth for my lower body and muscle definition for my upper body. With all that said, let's just get straight into the video and I will show you guys a week in my workouts. Starting off the week strong, I'm starting off with quads and calves day. So first things first is that the barbell squat. I will start off with usually five pounds. This is my comfortable and my starting weight and my finishing or max weight will be 25 pounds. The next exercise is dumbbell lunges. So I start around the same weight, five pounds, and my max for these are 15. The next exercise after this is a leg press. Now when I first got to the gym, I could not even do these. So I am so proud I finally worked my way up to do the leg press machine. My next goal is to start adding some weight. Right now I just keep doing more reps. Next exercise are the seated calf raises. My starting is around 30 and then my max is 60. And for my leg extensions, I usually stay around the 20 and 30 range for pounds. The next day of this regimen is chest and a back day. Now honestly, I love chest and back day and I will start these off with the incline dumbbell press. Now I do these in the free weight section and I start off with five pounds and my max is 7.5. And that is the same for most of my upper body exercises. The next one is the incline dumbbell fly and my weights are the same. Also, these little charts are color coded and thanks to my boyfriend for doing that. But it shows you in the green when you are going to increase your weight and when you are going to decrease your weight. Exercise after this is the dumbbell bench press. I do these the opposite way and I let my foot hang on the edge of the bench. But that's just how I like to do them. I know you can put your feet up. And then the last one in the free weight section are these single dumbbell rows. And make sure to do them on both sides. After this, we will leave the free weight section and move on to the cable machine. And this is where I will do my next exercise, which are the wide lap pull downs. I didn't get to film this the day of, but these are what they look like. Usually, I will do 20 to 40 pounds on this machine. And that is it for chest and back day. Next day is hamstring and glutes day. This is the day that builds the booty, okay? So for hip thrust, my comfortable and starting weight is around 10 pounds and my max weight is 45. So I will slowly increase my weight until I get to 45 pounds. The next exercise after this is Romanian deadlift. I know it says deadlift on the thing, but I don't do deadlifts, but... I will usually start with five pounds for deadlifts and I will increase that to my max weight, which is 15 pounds. Now the next exercise is a Bulgarian split squat. I think I might have forgot to do the Bulgarian part and I think I just started doing split squats instead, but usually I will do Bulgarian split squats and I will adjust the stoppers to make sure that I <laughs> do not fall or anything especially if I'm using the bench for Bulgarian split squats. The last and final exercise I will do at the Smith machine if I feel like it's not that busy is these glute bridges. And the reason why I like to do my glute bridges here is because of how easy it is to just grab the plates. Now, I didn't record this the day of, but the last exercise for this day are kettlebell swings. 
The next day we have is Arms and Shoulders Day. I will start off this day in the free weight section and I will start off with tricep kickbacks and I will do this on each side again. My weight is 5 pounds to 7.5 pounds and then I will move on to hammer curls. I do both of these at the same time. You can do them single arm. I just like to do them at the same time. I don't really know why but then I will move it to this shoulder fly machine and honestly I am still kind of struggling with these but this is what I end up doing. I recorded this on a different day because it was really busy, but I usually only do 10 to 20 pounds on this machine. Next, I will go to the cable machine and do a tricep push down. Now this burns, I will do 10 pounds as my starting weight and 20 as my max. And the last exercise is bicep cable curls and I can only do 10 pounds on this. The last day is lower body day and I was going to film lower body day for you guys but all the exercises in lower body day were already previously mentioned and shown in my other two leg day so I just decided to leave it out but I will post it on the screen for you guys if you guys wanted to see it. But I think that is it for the video. If you guys like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment so that I know that I'm doing something right. Other than that, here are my social medias and I will see you guys next time. Bye!